Hey guys, Daisy here. Welcome to another part of The Sims 3 World Adventures. I am so excited for this part because as you guys can see, we are now home in El Mandina. She still wants to explore a tomb. I love that Aaliyah loves to explore nowadays. She came a long ways. She does have a sore back though from exercise. And as well, she is close to reaching level 7 of her athletic skill, which we do need for work. So while we are home, we're going to try to work on that, as well as try to form some sort of relationship with our co-workers, because it is pretty darn poor. We are friends with our boss, but our co-workers definitely... We definitely, we definitely need to be a little bit closer to them, just a little bit. <laughs> we definitely need to be a lot closer for work in order to advance more properly. And she does want to invite over Sun Young Ken, and I did call her, so she should be coming over um, tomorrow morning, I guess. And I can't wait for that to have our friend over. It'll be so much fun. We can have like a little slumber party. It'll be so cute. Um, so yeah, at the moment she was sleeping, but I'm getting her to get out of bed and yeah, just do a few things around the house. We were gone for a little while, so we still have to do, you know, like a few chores and stuff. I did put her um, a Chinese symbol of the Halls of the Lost Army um, vase, vase, antique symbol thingy. I put that in her chest. Um, just to make sure that we would not accidentally sell it or something like that. Why are you making that side of the bed, girl? That was already made a little bit glitchy, but you do your thing, girl. You do your thing. Um, so yeah, she was gone for a while, so we definitely have to do a few things around the house, like laundry, get something to eat as well. And we have 24 hours before we can go back to China. And I am so excited to actually go back to China since we are now advancing further along in our adventures with the black market. Yeah, I just can't wait to see what other adventures we can start working on as well as getting Pangu's axe. I keep mentioning that, but I'm so excited to get that axe. The axe is like the coolest thing ever. And I kind of want to spend some time with Amar as well. We just got home. It's been a little while since we saw our boyfriend. But I'm kind of nervous about their conversation because, as I said before, I feel like Amar is starting to suspect something is up. He actually might know the details. Perhaps um, Elias, our enemy, <laughs> the guy that we don't like, perhaps he dropped by Amar's place while we were gone. And maybe he told Amar... Um, what's up with us that we are connected to the black market and we've been kind of lying and living this double life um, So I don't know. I feel like the conversation is going to be kind of intense kind of um, Awkward, but it's one of those things that we have to do. We can't uh, Keep living a life from our boyfriend. It's not fair to him at all so we're going to invite him over to um, this little park over here should be fine. It's just right next door. He lives close by as well, so yeah, I I can't prolong it. As much as I want to, I can't. We need to have this conversation, and hopefully he won't break up with us. What? No, I'm not interested right now. You have to be kidding me, Amar. He's not even saying that he's too busy or he's at work or something. Aaliyah is not impressed right now. He actually said, no, I'm not interested right now. And he hung up on us. So is he giving us the cold shoulder or something? Like, he definitely knows more about us. He knows that we were lying to him, that um, we weren't being honest at all, really, about who we are as a person. Um, so, oh my gosh. Oh, I feel sick to my stomach. I do. I feel sick to my stomach for this girl. Not gonna lie. Um, but I do want to get her a guitar, though, because I did promise her in the last part, um, if she did what I wanted her to do, I would buy her a guitar. So, that is what we are doing. I guess I'll make this white. Don't know if I like that. I really should make it purple, but we'll keep the white guitar for now. Like I said before as well, I can see Aaliyah becoming a guitarist. She's not very musically inclined. That's not really her thing, but um, she could play around with it just for a little bit. She, she deserves it. You know, she made quite a bit of money while she was traveling and she was a pretty good girl. <laughs> so I think this is like the least we can do right for her. 
if she can actually play the darn thing. We'll go on over to this little park over here. There's hopefully more space over here. It is so beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> it is so beautiful over here. I wish I could talk. That would be nice, right? But yeah, she's going to strum her guitar, probably trying to strum a breakup song or something, thinking about her relationship that is dying with Umar. Oh god. I seriously can't believe it that Umar said that he's not interested and basically hung up on us. Like, he does not want to talk to us. That is shocking. And I'm so used to him calling us. Oh, oh my god, maybe that's him. Oh no, that's our boss though. But yeah, like what I was going to say, that oh my god, that cat, that cat. How cute are you, pussy cat? Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> but like I was going to say, though, um, I'm used to Amar wanting to call us like 24-7. Like he's always calling us on the phone, wanting to spend time with us. So it feels really weird to not hear from him. Like, I'm a little bit sad. Uh, and no one wants to hang out with us. This is really depressing. <laughs> I'm actually getting a little bit depressed now. Uh, but yeah, I do want to work on our relationships with our co-workers. That is a must. I at least want to try to get friends, like become friends with one of them. Ooh, that's worth a lot of money. Let's sell a lot. Then she can play her guitar for a little bit longer. In this beautiful, beautiful park. Oh, I love it. This is probably the most detailed world I've ever played in. We can collect that as well. We might as well. Um, but yeah, like, I love the details. I love everything about this world. It is so well done. Definitely one of the best high-quality worlds I've ever experienced. No joke. I mean, she's decent, I guess. <laughs> I mean, she kind of sucks, but, you know, she's doing her thing, though. Strum away, girl. Strum away. You want to go to the day spa? I mean, we could. That would definitely put her in a better mood. Um, but I don't know about that. Okay, so she got a skill. That's really all I wanted her to do. And I guess right now we'll try to talk with this girl a little bit more. I kind of do want her to become friends with a co-worker, like actually have a best friend that is a co-worker. That way we can be criminal buddies, right? <laughs> and this girl's actually really pretty too, so I mean like, I kind of really want to hang out with her. Um, where can we go though? <laughs> I mean we have so many options. We'll go over here to the very classy establishment. Oh, she actually wants to come with us. That's good news, too. Okay, here we are. And hopefully she won't stand us up either. That does happen sometimes. Gosh, I love, love this building. It is so beautiful. Although it makes me a little bit sad because this is where we met Amar, you guys. This is where we first met our boyfriend. And it was like love at first sight as well. So it makes me a little bit sad to be here and not sure of the relationship we're going to have with our boyfriend from now on. He's giving us the cold shoulder. He's not wanting to talk to us. And yeah, it's just not good. Yeah, this girl's super pretty. I have no idea how to pronounce her name. Kajaya? Kajaya? Kahaja? Kahaja? I have no idea. I'm so bad at pronouncing names, words in general. So different names to me is just super, super hard for me to do. But yeah, she is so pretty. I would love for her to be our best friend in this world. We have yet to actually have a best friend. Our signs are compatible. Things are looking up. Yes, yeah, so we'll chat with her for a little bit. There's not many people around. I mean, we have the bartenders, but that's pretty much it. 
Oh my god, you guys. I, Pi, has passed on. Old age inevitably comes for each sim. Oh my gosh. He was, wasn't he like the adventure guy that we were dealing with in China? Like, that, like, oh my god, I'm in like, I'm shocked. <laughs> He's dead, you guys. He died. Um, wasn't our current adventure involving him? I feel like maybe the dang wang, uh, dude thing here. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sad. He was such a sweet, sweet old man. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm sad. This is why I don't like having my aging turned on. Normally when I play, I either play with a very, very long lifespan, like the epic lifespan, or I have aging turned off completely and only age up my sims when I want to, because I'm a control freak like that. You do have work, sweetie. We should really uh, go, but I don't know. Maybe let's talk with her just a little bit more. Yeah, we'll we'll compliment her, and then we'll go off to work. Um, maybe we'll get a promotion today because we did complete that opportunity um, to go abroad to China and everything. No, please don't get something to eat. I know you're hungry, but hopefully they'll feed you at work, girl. Um, but yeah, like normally I have my aging turned off. I don't usually deal with my Sims dying. <laughs> so I'm like a little bit stressed and I'm stressed really at the thought of Aaliyah getting older as well, becoming an actual adult. I don't handle change well, <laughs> so I'm a little bit stressed, but um, I thought it would make things more interesting to at least have my aging um, turned on for this Let's Play um, for you guys. So I'm getting stressed out because I love you guys, essentially, <laughs> and I want this Let's Play to be more entertaining for you. Okay, so we cut a raise, extra four millions per hour. Okay, it took a lot of smooth talking, but you managed to get the heavy package to destination yes so we did get an increase in our performance and i want you to talk more with your co-workers because we should um but yeah so we did that i'm actually going to get her to work on her athletic skill i think just for a little bit because like i said before she is really really close to getting her um yeah she's like right there with her athletic skill seven um, so we'll get this and then I'll let her talk more with her co-workers and I'll pick up either once we're out of work or the next morning or when something interesting happens. Oh my gosh, Sanyang Kim, she is here, you guys. Our BFF, our potential, potential, you guys, BFF is here. So of course we're going to invite her in. Your visitors have just arrived. Yes, you can come in, girl. I'm so excited to have our friend from China. So maybe Sun Young Kim was in the neighborhood, passing by Al Mandina, and we decided to just hang out for a few days or so. And I love it. She's like so pretty as well. Sun Young Kim. So, so lovely. We're going to ask her about her day. How was her trip to El Mandina? We're going to brighten her day as well because we're still kind of a good person. I am still debating on whether or not to get rid of our good person trait <laughs> to change it to something else like commitment issues or something. But for now, for the time being, we are kind of a good sim. Come on, Aaliyah. Mm -hmm. Oh, she almost had it. She almost had it. Yeah, I mean, that kind of works, too. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she learned it. Good job, girls. Good job. I like that um, this chick has a good sense of humor as well. I think it's kind of cute. Um, yeah, we're going to make a silly face because she'll probably love that. Aw, friendly hugs. Aw, they're so cute. I'm so happy that she actually arrived. For a minute, I was trying to think if my game was broken and she was not going to come, but she did. So we're going to sleep while she, like, listens to music, reads a book, um, and I'll pick up a little bit later. She is really so, so pretty. So I took these guys over to the bar because we're a pretty good friend. We're showing Sun Young Kim around town. Um, 
as this bartender is a little bit on the klutzy side, smashing our drinks, but that's all good. Um, so she's getting herself a nice drink that is on fire. That looks pretty interesting, Sun Young Kim. <laughs> but yeah, I love that we're hanging out, showing her around uh, town and just catching up. And I'm sure we're telling her all about Ummar and our problems as well, because she is going to be our best friend. So... Um, we're probably letting her know what's up, and maybe Aaliyah is feeling a little bit stubborn. Unfortunately, we do have to go to work, <laughs> so we're going to have to end things yeah. here. But, um, yeah, like, I think Aaliyah is feeling a little bit stubborn as well when it comes to Amar. Like, I don't think she necessarily even wants to talk to him or see him right now either. I can see her definitely being the stubborn type. Okay, so she should soon be getting out of work with our promotion. I am so happy. Man, I love the criminal career. I don't know why, but it has to be my favorite. Ooh, 100 simoleons. Yes, we'll take that. These free books. I have no idea how we get special snowflake. I don't think we bought it, but that's worth quite a bit as well. Um, but yeah, I love, love the criminal career. It is one of my favorites to play. I just love it so much. And unfortunately, our friend Sun Young Kim did leave. I have no idea where she went. So it was not that long of a visit, but it was still nice to see her. Yes, we're going to join the Thief branch. Of course we are. Um, yeah, so we got our promotion, I believe. Yes, we did. We are now a bag woman, as well as a bonus of 1,200 simoleons. Oh, man, I am so, so excited. Uh, yeah, I'm just ec ecstatic. <laughs> and we have leisure day as well, which kind of sucks because that means we can't go to work. And I love going to work with our girl here. She always looks terrified. Is it just me? <laughs> Like, look at her, you guys. She always has a face of worry. <laughs> I love her so much. She is just so entertaining to me. Maybe she is worried about Amar, possibly. We did invite her over, but she left. I have no idea why that did not get completed, even though she was here. Um, we can always meditate, so... Yeah, we are now a big woman. I am so, so freaking happy that we got that promotion. We are making quite a bit of money at the moment, which is always nice and dandy to see. And I kind of want to travel back to China in this part. I was not planning to travel back so soon, but her and Ammar aren't really talking at the moment. So it's kind of like, what's the purpose of us to stay here longer than what we have to? I'd rather just continue onwards with our adventures if we're not going to talk to Amar if he's giving us the cold shoulder still. We might as well just move forward. <laughs> I love that she's singing the song while having a bath. It is so cute. Honey, don't cry over the bathtub. It's just a tub. Perhaps she is not crying over the bathtub. She's probably most likely crying over Amar. That she has not yet seen him and she's planning to go traveling once I give her a makeover. Um, I actually, I've been saying this for a while, but I kind of really want to see what she would look like with shorter hair. Um, I think she would look really, really pretty. And yeah, I just feel like Aaliyah just wants to cut off her hair, cut off her length. And I think we're going to do that. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh 
when will tomorrow come? When will I see the sun? Will it stop hurting so much? When will tomorrow come? come? Okay, I actually think she looks amazing, despite how terrified she looks. Like, do you hate the makeover that bad, Aaliyah? She looks so sad. <laughs> Maybe she's regretting cutting off her hair like that. <laughs> it can grow back, Aaliyah. It's just hair, sweetie. Don't worry. Life is too short to worry about something like that. Um, I think, though, she looks like a badass. So she's checking herself out. Um, hopefully she'll come to terms with the new change. Um, but yeah, I think she can use a new change. And I'm putting all my cheats here. Um, because go see <laughs> um, like I've been saying for the last part or so I've been really debating on whether or not to change her good trait um, we can always get it back eventually maybe she'll become more good in time or maybe we'll give her something really different eventually I don't know but I think it's normal and realistic to change your traits because we as people, we change, we grow every single day. Um, we do. And it makes sense that Aaliyah, especially when, when she's going through such a difficult time in her life, it would make sense that she's um, kind of changing and growing as a person. So I do want to give her the commitment issues trait, I do believe. Um, I think I will. I can make her a diva, but I don't see her being a diva necessarily. Um, I'm just looking here. We could make her irresistible. Yes, a huge, huge flirt. <laughs> but I think right now, I feel like commitment issues really suits her because she has been going back and forth between um, her and Umar and her feelings and wanting to settle down and everything with him. And right now, she just looks like an awesome, awesome chick who is terrified of her own shadow. God, I love her so much. Um, so yeah, we're going to put her back into this outfit. Just so you guys can see her hair. She's hiding behind the um, little thing on the wall there. But yeah, I think she looks cute. Of course, you have to sneeze, Aaliyah. Her face, she kills me so much. Um, yeah, so I did not change her outfits at all. I definitely will in time, but I still like her outfits as of now, so I did not bother to change it. But um, yeah, I'm still not feeling this hair. I don't know. I might change this hairstyle as well. We'll see. But I do want to head over to China to get away from our problems and escape. Oh, this guy is using um, the martial arts uh, kicky thing, whatever it's called. <laughs> He's using that. Yes, yeah, so... um. Yeah, man, I'm excited to go to other places, but for now, we'll go to China and we'll stay for 11 days. So I'll see you guys um, once we arrive, I guess. Yeah, I'm so, so excited. So I'll see you guys in one moment. Okay, so we have arrived to China. I can't believe we got here in the same part. Usually I don't do this, but we really had nothing to really work on at home other than like skills. We got a promotion and everything. So I think this part was really, really productive. And I'm getting quite a bit of uh, script errors. Um, we'll do that. Lapis Lazuli. Um, I think the reason why I'm getting so many errors is because that iPi guy died in China. So, and I think he was the guy that we were currently working with as well. Um, we do have one there, which is really close, I think. I think that's the closest. Since it is the closest, we'll go on over here. And we have something else to pick up. Exciting. I can't wait for us to find, um, uh, what is that gem called? Uh, Ty 
Tiberium or something. Tit it's not it's not titanium. It's the other one. See, I'm getting so many script errors. But yeah, that gem, that is worth a lot of money, so I can't wait for us to stumble upon that. Okay, deliver gems, please, and thank you, Aaliyah. Even though it is raining, that kind of does suck, but at least we're here in China, and you can take your mind off all of your worries. Yeah, and see all of these errors? That must because that must be because of that guy dying. I think so. I think the game is trying to figure out what to do since that guy is now dead. And I think he was the special merchant as well, if I do remember correctly. I think he was the special merchant, so. Um, yeah, because she is now the special merchant. Pangu's axe, you guys. Enter the Temple of Heaven to begin the search for Pangu's axe. You have proven to me that you would not abuse Pangu's axe. You're ready to learn about it. I'm so happy. I've been waiting so, so long. <laughs> this axe is amazing. It is like the best object in this whole game. It is just so cool. Like, I can't wait for this at all. Like, I'm just, ugh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, let's go over there. Gosh, it is thundering and lightning. Kind of creepy to be going through a tomb as it is raining and storming outside, but, you know, at least we're underground, I guess. Yeah, I can't believe we made it back to China in this one part. I know normally never, ever, ever, ever do that. <laughs> I never go back to like a place in one part. That's usually like a few more parts down the road. But I did it all in this part. I feel like we were being pretty productive. We got a promotion. Um, we had our friend over, Sun Young Kim from China. She was over. Yeah, so I think we did, uh, I think we did pretty well. We're getting a phone call as well. Let's see who is bugging us. Um, is that Sun Young Kim? Oh my gosh, it is. She was like, hey girl, I heard you just arrived in China. We'll have to hang out sometime since you're now here. This place is gorgeous. As it is raining, it's kind of like somber, you know? It's kind of sad looking with the rain, but it's cool. Yes, so I'll be ending this part here. I hope you guys did enjoy, and in the next part, we'll be exploring this tomb and hopefully locating and achieving Pangu's axe, like actually obtaining it. So I'm looking forward to it and I hope you guys have a great day. Love you so, so much. Bye.